Today, I'm gonna to show you how we use this sheet of leatherette to make something like this patch for a cap. We actually have several products that we engrave on that is made out of this leatherette, such as these black and silver money clips that we do, and even these ladies' wallets here, and even these can coolers that we have to call them, since we can't call them koozies, as well as several other products. But what we use most is actually this sheet stock, just this plain sheet of leatherette. This stuff has a 3M adhesive on the back of it. You just peel the protective layer off, and it has a sticky back to it. It comes with or without the adhesive, as well as larger sizes, and even other colors. Let me show you how we use our Thunder Laser to engrave and cut this stuff out. I'll show you all the settings in Lightburn. So we're here in Lightburn now, and you see the design that we have, our logo, and then we also have what looks like kind of some fake stitching, and then also a red cut line. Now, if you'll look in our layers panel here, we have our engrave layer set to fill here, and our settings for that is 400 millimeters per second at 15% power. Now this is for our Thunder Nova 35. So if you have something different, you may have to adjust your power for those, but this is what will get you at least close here for your Thunder Nova 35. We also have the air assist turned off for this. Now if we go to the cut layer, which is our second uh, layer here, it's set to line and the cut is at 20 millimeters per second at 50% power. And we have the air assist turned on for it. So that is our settings for the engrave as well as the cut on this laser safe leatherette. Another thing that I will point out is we are starting from the current position. You can see here uh, how you can set that to user origin absolute. We use current position and then we select a job origin and that reflects here by this green um, square. We have it in the top left. You can see whenever I move it, um, it will change, but so we're going to keep it in the top left and that is where we're going to start our job from. That way when we get to the laser, we will know where to position the uh, laser head according to where we want it to start. With our settings in there and our job origin set, all we need to do now is send it to the laser. So we're going to go ahead and send and you can name this whatever you want to. We're going to name it MCD patch and it will probably tell us it's already in there file already exists, so we want to override it. Sure, we'll override it. And now that file is on our laser now. It's on the control board. So let's go over to the laser to get this started. As you can see, we have the leatherette sheet loaded onto the bed of our laser. And we have these orange pins that we're going to pin it down with just because we want to make sure that this stays flat. So to keep it flat, we have the pins on the top uh, and bottom corners, but since I'm going to be working on this side, I want to go ahead and put another pin here because with leatherette, the key to it is to keep it as flat as possible. So we're just going to use one of these pins and go ahead and press it in. So now this whole area is very flat. So now we just need to focus this. Go ahead and raise it up. Okay. Now that we have it focused, we're gonna go ahead and move the laser head over here right below this orange pin, and we're gonna set an origin right there. Okay, now that the origin is set, let's just load our file. And once it's loaded, all we have to do is press start to let it begin. Now that it's finished, you can see where it left some char on this, so we're gonna clean this up. Okay, to clean this up, we're just gonna use something like LA Awesome or some cleaner just to remove the char marks off of this. So we're just gonna spray it on and then use a rag just to wipe it off and clean it up. 
Now we just let this dry for a bit. For our cap press, we set the temperature to 285 degrees and we're gonna press it for about 15 seconds, but I do use a piece of foam that goes up underneath the cap. Once we get it on there where we want it, I usually kind of check and give a little pre-press here. Make sure everything's lined up good. And then we take our patch and I told you it has the 3M on the back of it. So we pull off the little protective uh, layer on the back. So now that we have this ready, we're just gonna center this up on the cap. Now this is centered uh, according to the way that our logo is. And we just kind of press it down and it's kind of stuck on there now, but the heat will activate that adhesive and make it stick more. Then I'm just using a Teflon sheet here and going to press it. We'll take a look at it and there it is. And that's all there is to making a cap like this. If you enjoyed seeing how we do this, then go ahead and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos about our lasers and about some of the stuff that we make in our shop here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.